pics of amazing discoveries around the world that shock people. Mummy in Peru This is one of the most exciting archaeological discoveries in Peru. On the outskirts of Lima, in an ancient burial chamber, they have found a mummy. Haven't horror movies thought them not to open ancient burial chambers? Anyways, the mummy is more than 800 years old. It is a man, aged between 18 and 22, from one of the sculptures that developed in those mountains. The mummy of Kaya Marquila was buried in a fetal position, with his hands covering his face. It was probably some kind of funeral ritual, there were also everyday ceramic items and stone tools, as well as vegetable remains scattered around the tomb. Ferrari It's not rare to find things from the past buried deep underground. Some silverware, some gold, sure. Heck, even bones wouldn't make anyone bat their eyes. But when you find a million dollar car under the ground, you know something's wrong. But that's precisely what happened in 1978. A group of boys was digging around in the yard of their home in Los Angeles and found something huge and metallic. When they finished digging, it turned out that they discovered a Ferrari Dino 246 GTS. This was the beginning of the mystery. Who hid such an expensive car underground? Why did they do it? Did they even have plans to pick it up later? Only in 2012 did the authorities conclude that the car must have been buried there by thieves who were paid by the owner to steal the car, so he could collect the insurance money. But instead of picking up the car later, the thieves forgot the location where they'd buried it. Subterranean Ocean It was a deep-formed diamond excavated in Botswana that helped give legs to a scientific theory that has left everyone speechless. Experts have long speculated that deep within the Earth's crust, a huge ocean is suspended between the upper and lower mantles. There are even theories that this middle layer of water, deep in the Earth's core, might maintain more water than all the planet's oceans. It was a German geoscientist who discovered large traces of water when analyzing the diamond that came from 410 miles underground. Using advanced spectroscopy, the scientists found the diamond contained traces of ringwoodite, a mineral known to store large quantities of water. This incredible discovery is adding to the pieces of the puzzle that might just prove this mind-blowing subterranean ocean theory to be true. Revealing the face of a 1,600-year-old mummy We associate mummies to skeletal faces, but experts have recreated the face of this mummy thanks to the latest technology. It is a mummy of a Peruvian woman who lived around AD 400. Using the latest forensic tech, they followed her facial features to see what she looked like. Truth be told, there's not much of a difference between her looks and how people look nowadays. She was named Lady of Cow and was an aristocrat from the Mache culture in Peru, who thrived even before the Incas. In order to make a permanent record of this achievement, they also made a permanent replica of her body via laser scanners and 3D software used in criminal investigations. Alien Electrical Connector In 1998, while on a hike, electrical engineer John J. Williams discovered something strange shooting out of the ground. He dug up a strange looking rock that upon inspection looked to have a metal plug attached to it. Nowadays, it's known as the Williams Enigma Lith or the Petrodox, but that's just a fancy official name. In truth, no one knows what it is or what it does. Since this discovery, Williams and several other scientists have tried to figure out the stone, but so far, none have been able to. Geologists say that the rock has not been glued or welded in any form, so it's strange to imagine how it looks like a modern electrical plug. But what's even weirder is that this peculiar rock plug is over 100,000 years old. The strangeness of the rock has made people come up with varying explanations from alien technology to elaborate hoaxes. Taklamakan Desert Speaking of huge underground reserves of water, the world's deserts are probably the last place you'd imagine an abundance of water. But what was discovered hidden under the surface of a desert in northwest China has left everyone in awe. Deep underneath the Taklamakan Desert, there is believed to be a giant underground body of water that has more water than all five great lakes in North America combined. It was first discovered when scientists noticed the region was an incredible carbon depot. Except, there was no vegetation in sight. The researchers visited nearly 200 different locations across the Taklamakan Desert to collect deep underground samples. They discovered water samples had high concentrations of carbon dioxide, making it a key carbon sink zone. This is a shocking discovery for a dry desert with hardly any vegetation to lock in so much carbon dioxide. No one cared to imagine so much water underneath the sand. In many ways, this theory would have to change the way we look at deserts. The surrounding snow-capped mountain ranges might have something to do with the shocking amount of water said to be collecting underground. 
Mysterious Bones of Unknown Species Workers in Turkey dug up the skeleton of an unidentified animal that left them speechless. This one is creepy. Workers were clearing space in the area that wasn't used in the past 30 years and they contacted researchers from a nearby university. The animal is more than 3 feet long and it seems to be a predator with very long black legs and nails instead of hooves or paws. Nobody was sure what it was. The bones and tissue were even DNA tested, but results are inconclusive. Is this thing a dog? A dinosaur? Anyways, the skeleton will find its place in a museum and hopefully be identified. Cinema Usually, when we search underground for things, we expect to find something we can easily pick up or at least move with a crane. But as this next discovery would show, some of the biggest discoveries lie under our feet. In 2004, Parisian police found this statement to be true when they discovered a fully equipped cinema in an uncharted part of the catacombs. That's right, someone decided they didn't want to watch movies the regular way, but instead amongst the skeletal remains of 6 million people. According to the police, the 4,000 square foot cave was transformed into a full-size theater equipped with large screen TVs, projectors, and several films. None of the movies were banned or offensive, so it's unclear why whoever did this went through this much trouble. Police never found them, but after they visited a few days later, they found that all the electricity had been cut and there was a note saying, do not try to find us. Escape Tunnel or Real Estate Recently, authorities found a huge pit in a Manila prison complex. It was dug next to the warden's home. The tunnel was found to be 196 feet deep, 131 feet wide. The warden admitted that he ordered the excavation of the gaping hole, but he claims it was never intended to help prisoners escape. According to the warden, who was suspended, pending further investigations, the tunnel was merely dug for scuba diving activities. Other rumors are claiming that the man was trying to build underground rooms for inmates because the correction facility is overcrowded. It seems some prisoners have more perks when it comes to their living situation, with some having luxuries like their own bathroom, TV room, and such. In retrospect, I guess the warden was exploring the prison's real estate opportunities. Aztec Temple under a hotel in Mexico more than half a century old temple dedicated to the Aztec god of wind was found under a hotel in Mexico. During a demolition of an old supermarket in the bottom floor of a hotel in Mexico City, the remains of the temple were found. It was a second temple of the same type in the area. During the demolition, when they noticed what was underneath, they contacted archaeological experts to continue digging. The platform was intact and there was a small box of offerings next to the remains of a baby with ceramic toys and bird bones scattered around it. These offerings enabled them to link the temple with the wind god. Other clues also suggested that human sacrifice might have been involved in the offerings to the god. Ships under San Francisco This next discovery isn't so much what was found underground, but what made up the entire underground of San Francisco. Ships. So, how does the city of San Francisco end up sitting on hundreds of ships? Well, during the California Gold Rush in the 1850s, thousands of ships sailed in and out of San Francisco's port, loaded with prospectors hoping to strike it big. Many of them anchored in the Yerba Buena Cove, which is now downtown San Francisco, and were often abandoned by the entire crew, who also set out in search of gold. Because why not? The prospect of finding gold was greater than some measly ship. Many of these ships found new purposes being used as stores and hotels but eventually, they deteriorated. During the late 1800s, the port was filled in to accommodate the rapidly expanding city, and over 50 ships ended up being buried beneath the streets of San Francisco. After death, you know how some people want to become a tree after they die? They'll have their bodies buried in a special pod out of water, which after some time, a tree will grow in. Well, in this story, this young man never asked for such a burial, but he got one anyway. When a storm blew over this giant 215 year old tree, Tangled in its roots, the skeleton of a young man was found, almost as if he had become one with the tree. The lower leg bones remain in the grave, but the upper part of the body was found in the roots. After radiocarbon dating remains, the archaeologists suggest the skeleton is from the early medieval period, from 1030 to 1200. Appearing to be about 17 to 20 years old, the young man, so it seems, had knife injuries to his ribs and hand. Apparently, during a personal conflict or a local battle, he suffered the knife wounds to the chest and hand which led to his death. Inca Tomb Here we have yet another baffling discovery hidden under a modern building that left people who found it speechless. During a house renovation in Lima, when they were about to put concrete slabs, a group of builders noticed an opening. They were amazed by the discovery and immediately contacted the owner, 
who called in a team of archaeologists. The opening was for a 13 feet deep pit, which was an ancient Inca burial ground. Imagine sleeping above a burial ground for years, yikes. The tomb dates back to the 15th century and contains three funerary bundles with remains of multiple people, as well as grave offerings typical for the Incas, such as ceramic bowls, tools, and toys. Mysterious Bet's Sphere Around March or April 1974, a large bushfire swept across an 88-acre plot of woodland on Florida's Fort George Island had been recently acquired by Jerry and Antoine Betts. While reviewing the damage, the couple and their son Terry discovered a strange, polished metal orb measuring slightly less than 8 inches in diameter, an elongated triangular shape was stamped onto its surface, but the item otherwise contained no identifying marks. At first, the shock trio thought the object was some NASA or Soviet satellite. However, a few weeks after Terry took the 22-pound sphere home, he noticed that it vibrated aggressively whenever he played his guitar. Eventually, the family announced their fine and the country went out into a frenzy. The government demanded it and the military conducted several tests on it. Yet, no one knew what it was. It was eventually given back and its location has remained unknown ever since. Secret Skeletons Everyone has at least a few skeletons in their closet. Not Catherine McGigan though, she has about over 30 and they're under her house. The true horror story all started when Catherine was renovating her house. Workers were digging up the ground to build an extension in her 19th century home when one of them suddenly noticed a skull. But the crazy find didn't stop there. What Catherine was unaware of were the skeletal remains of what was once a secret burial site. With not having a single clue of what was hidden just a few feet underneath their dining room, Catherine and her son lived in the house for 11 years. It never felt ghostly to them until skeletons kept popping up one after another. In total, they found 32 skeletons. Hidden World of Eerie Tunnels Looking at the picture of this tunnel, it kind of looks like an entrance to the underworld. Wouldn't you agree? You definitely wouldn't see me going anywhere near it. Who knows what kind of creature lurks down there? Miles of tunnels run beneath the streets of Landuno, towards the Great Ormond, and out to sea. These tunnels were once part of a century copper mine dating back to the 19th century that may have been built on multiple levels, but most of them are long lost due to flooding in the area. The Great Orm Exploration Society, GOES, has been learning about those eerie tunnels for the past 37 years. Underground Tunnels The city of Orvieto in Italy is a pleasant place to visit but you might be more interested in what's underneath it than what exists on the surface. That's because Orvieto was built on top of a series of 2,500-year-old tunnels that run on for miles and might have even once connected several European nations below ground. Scientists have explored these tunnels extensively, but all the discoveries made down there, the pyramidal hypogeum has prompted the most curiosity. According to the theory, the Etruscans, one of Europe's most mysterious ancient people, built the structure during the 5th century BCE. But for what reason? The walls of the structure are elaborately decorated, which rules out the idea of it being a quarry or a cistern. As for what exactly it is though, experts don't have an answer yet. Indian National Library Hidden Chamber The National Library of India, also known as the Calcutta Public Library, was built in 1883. It is without a doubt one of the largest libraries in the world with over 2,270,000 books and the capacity to hold around 550 people at once. In 2010, the Archaeological Survey of India undertook the task of giving the historic building a facelift. It was a team of archaeologists who stumbled upon a mysterious hidden room which had laid untouched for two centuries in the former governor's residence. What they discovered left them speechless. A secret chamber with no entrance or trap doors that had been left unnoticed for decades. There were already many ghost stories attached to the historic library, but this discovery took the speculations over the top. Some have even suggested that it was used as a torture chamber or to hide secret treasures. In the end, the secret room didn't turn out to be as exciting as all the folklore around it. It was merely filled with mud and there for architectural reinforcement. Orvieto Pyramid It was a wine cellar with peculiar stair markings in Orvieto, Italy that led archaeologists to start digging. What they discovered hidden under the surface left every single one of them gobsmacked. The first ever Etruscan Pyramid This ancient Italian civilization has long been considered one of antiquity's greatest enigmas and for good reason. Their culture flourished in Italy between the 8th and 3rd centuries BCE. It was known for being prominent in the mineral trade. Much of their culture was obliterated when they were conquered by the Romans. Many of their artifacts had been discovered over the years and continue to tell their story today, including the famous pyramid that was discovered underneath the wine cellar. Apparently the pyramid represented some sort of religious structure or tomb. 
it is said that there are five such underground pyramids across Italy. Mysterious Stone Circles In this picture, you can see a worker taking measurements of some stone rings. Is it just me, or does he look like he's performing some sort of ritual, like casting a spell or something? It's a fascinating picture no doubt, but what are those rings anyway? Well, the rings are made of stalagmites, and were found inside the Brunicole Cave in France. They're approximately 176,000 years old, meaning that they were built by Neanderthals. Yep, Neanderthals. You heard that correctly. It seems like our ancient relatives were more skilled than we originally thought. Small but significant. With this recent discovery, it's hard to keep believing that the Pacific is the biggest ocean in the world. This piece of mineral here seems to prove it. What this man is holding is called ringwoodite. It is the first ever terrestrial discovery of ringwoodite that seems to confirm that massive amounts of water exist hundreds of miles below the surface of the earth. Years of analyzing the sample have concluded that it contains a significant amount of water, 1.5% of its weight. How does this translate to the discovery of an ocean bigger than the Pacific, you ask? Well, ringwoodite is thought to be found in enormous quantities in the transition zone. This is a huge layer between the upper and lower layers of the Earth's mantle, which means that the equivalent of all the surface water is found inside the minerals. Subsequently, scientists believe the transition zone might contain as much water as all the world's oceans put together. You could say this underground ocean is trapped in the rocks. Grand Canyon Underground City There have been endless conspiracy theories circling around the discovery of an ancient Egyptian city underneath the famous Grand Canyon National Park in northern Arizona. Although experts have vehemently denied the rumors, what can be argued is that what lies underneath this epic natural wonder is just as jaw-dropping. Existing 1,500 feet below the ground, complex caverns were discovered. They are said to be some of the largest dry caverns in the world. They were discovered in 1927 by a man named Walter Peck who was looking for gold. He decided to open the caverns up to tourists and start charging people to visit them. Over the years, they've been used for all kinds of interesting things, including as a fallout shelter during the Cuban Missile Crisis. They now feature a hotel and a restaurant bar, if underground living is your kind of thing. Ancient Fort The Great Wall of China is probably the most well-known monument in the world. Millions of tourists visit it every year, with some even walking its entire path. Well, in spite of its popularity, it is not completely uncovered. Archaeologists have recently discovered a fort on the Great Wall dating back to the Ming Dynasty. It was buried for hundreds of years, the two courtyards, and a lot of artifacts found were all in great condition, including several statues. We might look upon the Great Wall as a defensive measure, but it was primarily a peaceful border monument connecting trade routes as well as an art form for current and future generations to enjoy. Underground Sculptured Caves We already established that the things you find underground don't have to be old to be impressive. If we focus on only things from the ancient past, we'd be denying ourselves the wonder and beauty of Ra Paulette's hand-carved caves in La Madera, New Mexico. As impossible as it seems, these gorgeous caves are precisely as they're described, impeccable. Every inch of every single one of them was carved out by hand by American sculptor Ra Paulette, who spent over 30 years sculpting them in the wilderness. The caves have been intricately carved out in hillsides of sandstone mountains. When you step inside, you'd think this was the work of some ancient alien race. The best part is that Ra never attempted to make any money out of his caves. He allows the public to access them freely, and all he asks is that they keep them clean. Shipwreck Endurance was a ship that sank during the Antarctic expedition in 1915, but it didn't stay lost forever. It was last seen 107 years ago when the explorer Shackleton and his crew of 27 men watched it sink into the southern ocean. They wanted to reach the South Pole over the unknown terrain. The crew survived and eventually managed to get home safe. More than a century later, an expedition called Endurance 22 found it using deep water, submersible equipment. Even though it is old, it remained in great shape due to freezing temperature and lack of microorganisms. This sure does wake up the kid explorer and all of us. Fighter Jet The life of military planes tend to end one of two ways. They either get destroyed or taken apart and scrapped to build something new, possibly even a new fighter plane. That doesn't apply to the aircraft that this British artist got his hands on though. Conceptual artist Roger Hirons is responsible for the image you see here. And yes, that's an aircraft buried in the ground. Not just any ordinary aircraft, that's a MiG-21 fighter plane, one of the most prized fighter jets of all time. It's the first ever fighter jet the artist buried, and it certainly wasn't the last. 
According to the man himself, the buried aircraft represents the end of an era of development that fighter jets are sure in. Passetto de Borgo On the surface, the Passetto de Borgo looks like another fortification wall around the Vatican in Rome. But what was discovered hidden underneath has left everyone astounded. A secret passage that links Vatican City with the Castel San Angelo, a towering cylindrical building that was built as a mausoleum. The passage is approximately 2,600 feet long. The earliest construction of the secret passage dates back as early as 850. It was expanded and completed in 1492, just two years later. Pope Alexander VI ran across it when French King Charles VIII invaded the city. Over the years, the passage has been deteriorating in condition and closed off from visitors, although the Swiss Guard always kept a key ready in case of an emergency. In 2000, it was renovated in honor of the Pope's Jubilee year. It is now open to visitors at certain times during the summer season. 168 Newly Discovered Geoglyphs There is a lot of Peruvian discoveries in this video, and this one isn't much different. A group of local and Japanese experts have discovered 168 new geoglyphs in the Nazca Pampa and surrounding areas on the southern coast of Peru. The figures can clearly be seen only from the air, so the research team used drones to survey the area. They date back to between 100 BC and 300 AD, and have forms of humans and different animals. It was a period before the Incas lived in the region and people created them by removing the top layer of black rock, exposing the sand below. The exact purpose of these geoglyphs is still unknown, but scientists believe they have ritualistic purposes related to astrology. Strange Hole This list probably would not be complete until we have something that's genuinely mind-blowing and confusing at the same time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our number one pick. Look at this photo here and try to explain what you see. You probably can't, right? Well, that's been the dilemma of everyone who's seen the image since it went viral. It looks like a large hole in the middle of the ground with a bunch of people in white suits. According to reports, the photo was taken at the height of the COVID pandemic, suggesting a link between the virus and the gaping hole in the ground. Other reports indicate that the men in white could be residents of a nearby prison, but that will leave the same question. Who are these men, and what were they doing digging a hole in the middle of nowhere? Sea Dragon Fossil Paleontologists in the UK have discovered a fossil of a dragon. It is a Jurassic sea creature called the Ichthyosaur, and nicknamed Sea Dragon because of its enormous eyes and teeth. These amazing animals first appeared in the Triassic period over 250 million years ago. For comparison, the first humans appeared less than 200,000 years ago. The fossil is in a very good shape, it is almost 33 feet long, and they call it the paleontological discovery of a lifetime. As with most discoveries, it was found by accident during a routine draining procedure for re-landscaping. They at first thought the clay pipes were stuck in the middle, but as soon as they saw the spine, they were overwhelmed with joy. Noah's Ark Probably one of the most shocking hidden discoveries is emerging in eastern Turkey, where archaeologists are claiming to have found the true location of Noah's Ark, the famous biblical vessel that is known to have carried Noah, his family, and hundreds of animals to safety. They claim to have made this discovery using state-of-the-art 3D technology, which includes ground-penetrating radar. The researchers say a protruding shape, which they have found on Mount Tindoric, long rumored to be the location of the legendary vessel, matches up with the proportions of the mythical vessel. However, geologists claim the formation is natural. One thing is for sure though, way more research is needed to say definitively. Either way, it has excited many and left them utterly speechless. A fake Egyptian city. Finally, we reach our thumbnail topic of the day, which is an Egyptian city buried in California. It is an 800 feet long temple with statues of Ramses II and sphinxes around it. Sadly, those are not the remains of an ancient colony, but only the remains of a movie set for the Ten Commandments. But the real puzzle is, what do you think about this picture? Why didn't they disassemble it or sell the set? What happened that led to it being buried? Was something spooky, scary, or cult-like happening here? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel with notifications turned on so that you don't miss any of our future uploads. Till next time!